Well, next to our talking point tonight, the sport or pastime of free running, or parker as it's also called. It's the latest craze sweeping our streets where runners use the urban environment to move around, leaping from walls to buildings, letterboxes to benches. Hello guys and welcome back to the Sean Wood All Good Parkour Tutorial Series. Still haven't come up with a better name for that. Today we're going to learn the Kong Vault. Now the Kong Vault isn't the easiest vault to learn, but for me it's kind of like the foundation of all the vaults. If you get this right, then all the other ones should come pretty easily. And some of the coolest vaults that you can do in the advanced levels come from a Kong Vault setup. It's a bit of a scary one to commit to, but I'll show you two techniques. I'll show you two techniques that hopefully will make it a bit easier to learn. Okay, so let's get to it. The Kong Vault is very useful for overcoming these types of obstacles. So if you were running, getting chased by that lion again, and you had this obstacle in front of you, you'd be able to come through and pass through in a safe and controlled manner. So there's a few things that you need to keep in mind and some easy ways to learn the Kong Vault at the start. From my experience, what people find difficult with the Kong Vault is just committing to getting their legs up through here. The common mistakes that I see is people coming up and trying to come off to the side and not being brave enough to come and get their legs up here. So the easiest way to overcome that fear is to start with coming up with one leg. So let's forget about trying to get over the obstacle. Let's just try and get on top of it with our legs between our hands. So it's gonna look like this. Let's take a couple of steps back from the box. We're gonna come up nice and slow, put the hands on the box and just try and come up onto one leg. That's the first move that we're gonna try and master. Once we've done this a couple of times and we feel safe, We're going to try and commit to doing the same thing, but with two legs. Ready? Up. So, first one is with one leg, second one is with two legs. Once you've mastered coming with two legs and you're not going up and off to the side, boom, like that, we're going to try two legs again, but edging down the box slightly further. So instead of landing right on the edge, we'll try and land a little bit further along the box. So it'll look like this. Up to the box. Now we're a little bit further along the box. Now by this point, you're starting to feel the Kong Vault. Starting to feel what the movement feels like. You should be ready to commit for your first time over the box. Still at the moment, we're not too worried about foot placement. We're just worried about getting our chest up and over the box and our legs over it. So it's look like this. Here. Woo. And there we go. That should be the first time that you've gotten over the box with the Kong Vault. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Alrighty, now that you're a Kong Vault master and you're confident getting over the box and you've broken through that fear, which I feel is about 80% of the Kong Vault is actually just getting over the box in the first place. It can be quite scary for some people. Now we want to start thinking a little bit about our foot placement. And there's a reason for this. And that comes into when we start getting a bit more advanced at this movement, we want to be able to get some distance on it. That leads into some other moves like the Kong Precision, where you're trying to go for distance. So what that means is we naturally, a lot of the time, when we start this vault, we try and take off with two feet. And that makes sense because we're trying to get height and get over the obstacle. So at the start, our Kong Vaults look like this. Run up, two feet, punch to here. Now, if you're ever wanting to get to the point where you can get distance off this movement, then we're wanting to do what I call a split foot takeoff. Now, this does get a little bit confusing for some people because getting into this position is quite hard. But there's some very easy methods to get it right. So, a split foot takeoff is all about the placements that you set up from here and then those last two steps. So it's like a little gallop. So if I was running in, I would go 
One, two, hands on the box, over the obstacle. But if you keep in mind that you're always just wanting your last two steps to be one, two, then you can pretty much jump into that from any running position. So you could be from here, and you can go one, two, like that. Come back this way. So what that allows, opposed to the two foot takeoff, here, it's very hard to generate that distance out of the two foot takeoff. So, practicing the gallop step, or the split foot takeoff, come, run, one, two, we just naturally get a lot more distance out of that jump. So once you've mastered the hands on the box, jumping onto the box and the clear, we really want to focus on that split foot takeoff. <laughs> All right guys, that was the Kong Vault. I hope there was something useful in there for you. There is a lot of progressions for the Kong Vault. Um, I'm going to be teaching all of those over the coming videos. Uh, there's also a lot of other vaults to go through. Um, so yeah, let me know in the <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what else you'd like to learn and get out of my face! <laughs> <laughs>